it's so funny. I was checking back last week. I was like, oh my gosh, but we're green in last week's video too. So that's funny. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to say hello. Good afternoon. I'm so excited to be here with y'all today. Um, I've got some great stuff I want to share with you. And I think you're going to absolutely love um, today's training, or at least I hope that you do. Um, I wanted to just um, kind of start off today and share a couple of things with you. A couple of quotes that we're going to actually train through today. And the first is from Kurt Vonnegut um, from Mother Night. It says, we are what we pretend to be, so we must be careful about who we pretend to be or what we pretend to be. And I read that and I thought, oh my gosh, that is so true. I can remember in the early days of Mary Kay when I was just kind of getting my feet wet and running through this actual program that I've taken y'all through thus far. And I remember thinking, gosh, you know, my walk and talk and thinking like a Mary Kay sales director. Am I dressing like a Mary Kay director? Does my calendar look like a Mary Kay director's calendar should look? Okay. And so I want y'all to think and consider those thoughts. You know, what things are you saying to yourself? Because it's critical that the things that are in your head become your reality. So be careful about that reality. Whatever, whatever that reality um, looks like is who you literally take on. It's who you be, if you will. And so I just want to encourage y'all today that who you're pretending to be every day, you know, whether you're pretending to be a um, wounded consultant who doesn't know what you're supposed to be doing and you're pretending not to know what to do or you're pretending to be confused or you're pretending to sort your inventory and you're pretending to work sometimes. I've pretended to work before. Um, just so when somebody says, so what do you have today? I can make a, a list, okay? And so what we pretend to be, is who we become. And I read that and thought, gosh, you know, that is right on. It's right on. The next thing is from Walt Disney Company in the movie Milan. The flower that blooms, excuse me, the flower that blooms in adversity is the rarest and most beautiful of all. You guys, every one of us, you know, I could list for you right now all of the adversity and things that I deal with on a daily basis. You know, as I was winning a Cadillac, becoming a national, becoming a sales director, I was student teaching. It was crazy. You know, life was was funky, you know, um, and, and there is always going to be adversity. You know, Mary Kay Ash taught us you're either in a crisis, about to be in one, or you're coming out of one. So you better brace yourself and be prepared because the truth is there will always be stuff. So you just got to decide how big the stuff is that you're willing to take to stop you in your business. You know, when we look at the reality of Mary Kay and we look at, you know, who we are and, and what we want to become and, and we look at the reality of the life that's going on around us, you know, there are people in our world of Mary Kay who really are, are dealing with some serious stuff and they're continuing, continuing to fight through and just be. And so I just want to challenge y'all today that if you are someone who is um, who is a being in your career, if you will, if you're someone who is um, thriving, if you're just stepping into your power and being incredibly amazing and being fearless, then congratulations to you. But if you're allowing fear in any capacity to be overwhelming or frustrating for you, I challenge you, take it on. Take it on and be amazing. You know, I want you to see this picture right here. I don't know if y'all can count how many women are there. I want you to count how many women you see in that picture. Do you count? I did this in my unit meeting the other night. There are 10 women hand in hand, side by side. Hand in hand, side by side. Think about that picture as I read this next quote. The things you do for yourself are gone when you are gone. But the things you do for others remain your legacy. At the end of this month, I want each and every single one of you who have weathered the storm and you've stayed on this call, I want you to be at least 10 active recruits. I want you to have finished your star. And I want you to do at least 5,000 holes of production between you and your team. You got three weeks left. The race is on. The time is now. You guys, this is the time of year when everybody is in the final finish of their seminar year goals. They're going to stand on stage for what they did or didn't do in Dallas at seminar. Some of you are going to be picking up free car keys. Some of you are going to be earning a new Mary Kay car. Some of you as sales directors are going to be stepping into your next unit club, your next bar pin. And some of you are going to sit in the audience frustrated, 
because you didn't impact other people this year. You didn't get yourself out of the way enough to bite on. You didn't um, allow your past to be done and gone. But you continue to allow it and the people from your past to control your decisions today. And I want to challenge you to stop it. I want to challenge you to understand that your legacy, your legacy of who you are today and the person that you're leaving, if you will, behind when you're gone, that namesake, you know, the emeritus who paved the way in our company, I think so many times, wow. You know, they had adversity. People would say, Mary, what? What are you talking about? A cosmetic company. I've never even heard of that before. You guys, we are all going to face adversity. And the flower that blooms in adversity is the rarest and most beautiful of all from the Walt Disney Company. You know, don't you agree with that? Those stories that you hear at seminar of the people who just fought through hell and high water and rain, snow, sleet, shine, the postman doesn't come. They fought and they fought a good fight and they finished. You know, you guys, we don't we don't change the world if we if we don't finish something. We don't change anything if we don't finish what we started out to do. And so I hope that this week as you've pushed through and you've done your bubble sheet and you've worked hard and you've gotten on the phone and you've pushed through and you've pushed through and you've pushed through and you've gotten pushed back and you've pushed through again. I hope that you realize that everything you want is on the other side of that push. And that's what you've got to understand. This business is not for the chosen few. It's not for just the doctor's wife or not for the people who were born into money and high class people. Mary Kay was designed for people like you and me, middle class America, who wants to break out of the middle. We want to break the middle. We don't want to be the middle of the income in our neighborhood. We don't want to be the, the middle of anything. We don't want our kids to be average. Well, how do we expect average from ourselves? You need to learn how to select your thoughts just the same way you select your clothes every day. This is a power you can cultivate. If you want to control things in your life so bad, work on the mind. That's the only thing you should be trying to control. You know, I had some stuff going on this weekend, and I talked to, um, to my coach, and I just thought, you know, a lot of people have said, you know, coaches are just people who get you to do what you don't want to do. And, but this coach has really brought me the, the insight and the thoughts of, you know, I consider um, some things that I believe and it's just beliefs. It's not even reality. And you guys, so many times we try to control everything else around us and we forget to control our thoughts because it's not what happens to you, but how you handle it. It's not what happens to you, but rather how you handle it. And so I just want to challenge y'all today that as you step out into the real world and you make some decisions to continue to fight for your Mary Kay dream when the rest of the world kind of lets, lets it go, I want you to fight. Cheryl Warfield, National Sales Director, Executive NSD Emeritus National Sales Director, told us that she would stay in bed in the morning and have to turn on positive things to watch. She had to turn on a, a, a pastor in the morning before she even got out of the bed because she was naturally just grumpy and ill and crabby. And she was like, you know, I gotta stay in bed till my head is right. And she would not let herself get out of the bed in the morning until she was, um, uh, what did I write on here? Until she was positive, excited, and ready to take everything on. My nose is running. Go figure. It's the call. So how many of you, how many of you roll out, you're grumpy, you know it, and you don't care, and we don't do anything to fix it. She just sold her $5 million beach house to the lead singer in a band, a rock band. Like, are you kidding me right now? $5 million. $5 million beach house. Who does that? Mary Kay MSDs. You guys, we got a job to do. We got to get out of our own way. We've got to get out of our own head. Because whatever you believe to be reality is reality. It is truth. It is power. And it controls you. So what are you choosing to believe today? Because, you know, belief is, is just something that we choose to make up in our mind. What we believe about something. Whatever you choose to believe. Well, I believe that she's upset with me. Well, that's what you're believing. Well, I believe that this is going to happen if I do this. Okay. 
then that's probably what's going to happen. Go back to what are we pretending to be? Because who you pretend to be is who you are. You guys, next, I want to share with you something that uh, a national sales director's husband said to her when she was really frustrated in her business and she was kind of stuck. And her husband said, who cares if they don't want it? Do you still want it? Who cares if they don't want it? You still want it? It doesn't matter if they quit. It doesn't matter if they said yes and changed their mind. It doesn't matter if they stop. It doesn't matter if they let their past control them. You still want it, right? And she said, yeah, I do. He said, then go get it. You guys, how can you increase your activity in the next few weeks to prove that you want it and you're going to go get it? What do you need to increase your activity to do? As we embark here on week 10, this is your final month with me. This week and then two more. And as an on-target DIQ, I didn't have video conferencing with my national. Can you imagine? I would have been all over that. I drove two hours to my meeting, my unit meeting. While I was in college, I would go to Clemson, come home, get dressed, ready, and then go back to Cle back through Clemson all the way to the other side of Anderson. I can even drive you there right now um, to where my unit meeting was. I drove an hour, a little over an hour there, and an hour back home every week. You guys, we have so many opportunities now that weren't available. All I had was text, and I have what y'all would consider Voxer now. It's called Intelliverse then, same thing. So I had Voxer. I had to know that I knew that I knew that I knew my vision was clear. And what was I saying to myself? I'm doing this. Girls, my goal for each of you, 10 active recruits, 5,000 wholesale is the minimum by the end of the month. Get your star done so that you can all be DIQs by the end of the month. There is no reason with the activity that I'm challenging y'all to do, the activity that I've challenged you to do, there is no reason why you are not going to be in DIQ by the end of the month. 15 faces a week, really eight interviews a week. Y'all, that should be pulling in some good recruiting numbers for you. If it's not, you need to be talking to your director. Because if you're really doing the numbers and you're really keeping your director in the loop and you're being in touch with her and she's helping you make sure that you're a master consultant and you're following up and you're following through, you should all be DIQs by month end. Every one of you. We have some new red jackets. Congratulations, Maria is a new red jacket. I'm so excited. I saw that on Facebook. You guys really, you know, Jennifer is on target for her car. Yay! Y'all are taking this on and you're doing it like a bunch of rock stars. And I want to tell y'all, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Your homework this week, continue to fill out, fill out a, a bubble sheet, 10 calls a day, Monday through Friday. Register for May Race and Fearless if you haven't done that yet. 25 new leads, 15 faces slash eight interviews. That's your homework for the week. And that's going to continue to be your homework. And you guys, I want you to be in DIQ. I want to hear how many active recruits you have as of this week. Y'all are going to post how many actives do you have and what's your team production. So number one, fill out your bubble sheet. Number two, register for May Race and Fearless on Friday. Number three, 25 new leads. And number four, 15 faces slash eight interviews. Number five, turn in your numbers to me. The numbers of uh, production, where are you at? Where are you at by next Monday as far as wholesale production goes? You better be tracking 5,000, you guys. Get on it. Be on purpose. Be a finisher. Get this done. Do not continue to wait. This red cruise is gone June 30th. It ain't coming back. You guys, the red cruise is gone. You're going to get a white cruise if you win it on August 30th. Get it done right now. And next month, you're going to double your activity. When you get on target for your car and you get in DIQ, then we're going to have another pace setters just for you. DIQs and on target DIQs. Okay? DIQs and on target DIQs. Get on target for your car this month. Get into DIQ by month end. And you're going to be spending some time next month with me. It's going to be great. I'm so excited. I want to see what's happening out there. We're going to video everybody in next time when we, when we get all the DIQs on the line. It's going to be so exciting. We're going to be able to see each other. It's going to be powerful. But you got to do the work right now to get in and make that happen. And don't take any excuses. Don't allow yourself to pretend like you don't know what to do. Because, girls, if you've been doing the work I've been telling you to do on this call, you know exactly what to do. And you know how to do it. You know how to book, coach, sell, and recruit. You are a master consultant at this point. So number one, fill out your bubble sheet. Number two, register for May Race and Friday Fearless.
Number three, 25 new leads this week. Number four, 15 faces. Number five, turning your numbers of production and how many active recruits you have on your team. And I can't wait to celebrate with y'all next week. I hope you'll make it a powerful, powerful week. Be on purpose, you guys. I'm going to read these quotes to y'all one more time. We are what we pretend to be, so be careful what you pretend to be. The flower does not bloom. The flower that blooms in adversity is the rarest and most beautiful of all. The things you do for yourself are gone when you're gone, but the things you do for others remain your legacy. You need to learn how to select your thoughts just the same way you select your clothes. This is a power you can cultivate. If you want to control things in your life so bad, work on your mind. This is the only thing you should try to control. Who cares if they don't want it? You still want it. Girls, as we walk away this week, I just want to challenge y'all. Be all in. Give this everything you've got for the next few weeks, and you are going to be so excited to stand on that seminar Sweet 16 stage and celebrate your rare and beautiful accomplishment that you chose to fight for and fight through. And it is going to be the sweetest seminar ever.